Are you sure I should tell her? Yeah, yeah, just, just go with it. I think you'll do good. Thanks. Um... My... Queen? Yes, Scoblo? Do you have any... Information? Well, we do have one thing, and oh, that's a problem. Izareth, Seller, and Ravok, they got ambushed by the heroes. Let me guess, Wider interfered with Ravok? Well, yeah, but they did manage to block off the system. In what way do you see those pieces I need? The Bionicle pieces? Oh yeah, sure, sure, but unfortunately I don't think we can find any more. You four minions need to find those brittle bones so I can go stronger, otherwise our extinction will proceed further. And soon it'll be your fault. But, 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 but they did mention that, that, that one of them does have a brittle bone. Gresh? Why, well, yes, your majesty, Im importantly. Oh yeah, Gresh, I think I kind of remember her. When you have the time, Scoplo, bring her to me and her brittle bone. I want to see that in my Define collection. As you wish, Your Majesty. Nakua? Uh, Azul? What's up? Nothing. Just, uh, how you been feeling? I don't know. Not the same. After what happened? Yeah. But just like seeing the other residents go around, just enjoying their time. So yeah, that's what happened. I deflected my shield against Ravok and, uh, Copter actually did save me. Oh, he did? That's actually really smart of him. He is useful after all. Hey, uh, Copto? Why are you just talking about you? Not now, Vextra. I'm trying to get some of this goop juice. Hey, th that's not goop juice. That's technically, uh, slime. Whatever, and eating it anyway. It looks good. Yeah, whatever. Some Matoran can be so stupid all the time. Like, what? Was there a chance that... N never mind. Was there anything... That was going on lately? With, uh, Blanco? Blanco? I don't know. For some reason that uh, he's been telling me that the Queen wants brittle bones. Brittle bones? What are brittle bones about? Well, I'll show ya. So, Vextra, when the Queen tried to take off some pieces of my armor, she only took off those halves. Wow, you're actually pretty smart to stay alive at this point. Yeah, that's actually what happened, Vextra. I, these two pieces were here, here were cut off, so I decided to hide them against my shield so I don't get embarrassed in fighting. I'm sure you won't get that embarrassed. Well, okay, if you do say so. Hey, guys. Guys. I want to show you something. Copter, we already see you. We already see you trying to have some of that goop juice yourself. Heck, that's not even related to goop juice. It's just from Resident Evil 7, dude. I think we should just leave him. Besides, he just, he just wants to have some fun anyway. I guess you can say that. <sighs> sorry, Blanco. Ugh. What? Oh, sorry, Grash. Didn't see you there. Well, I didn't see you there. I accidentally tripped on you. That's fine, just, uh, I was just thinking of stuff. Like what? <sighs> I don't know. Oh wow, that's a broken arm. Where'd you find it? 
I didn't find it. I lost it. You lost an arm? Well, yeah, I just uh, lost it to the queen. Oh, that must have really sucked. Yeah, she says something about brittle bones. I don't know what she means by that, but I think she means something about this broken piece I have. It was where my robotic arm was supposed to be until this piece was just broken itself. Oh, that must have really sucked. I know, I know. But I'm redeeming the change that one day. When I get my hands or hand on the queen, I'll make sure she never messed with me. Well, Blanco, I think you came to the right place. Wait. Gresh, what are you Gresh, what are you talking about? You can just look at my arm here. Your arm? Look at your arm? What does it mean by look at your arm? Here, I'll give you a better look at it. Whoa, Gresh! That one must have really hurt. How'd you get that? I don't know. Maybe it's because of the packaging. Maybe it's because of brittle bones. Well, I don't understand how the queen got there. The queen didn't get me. Look, Blanco, the past is in the past. Brittle bones often happen when they crack or snap if you use them too much. Besides, it doesn't embarrass me. I mean, look at me. I'm a 2010 toy, which hasn't aged a lot. It's an alternate universe where Gresh is a female. Because there are less female Bionicle characters, because they're blue. I, I get it, I get it, Gresh. It's just, uh... They don't seem to embarrass you. Nope, not at all. Well, it's good for you, because... I got some stuff to think about. Okay, well, see you later. Did it make you feel better? Did that make me feel better? Yeah, sure did. Thanks, Gresh. You're welcome, friend. <laughs> no problem, friend. I'm so good at cheering people up. Hey, Gresh, why am I going to see my stuff I found? Oh, sure, I'm in for it. Ah, oh, man, look how smug and beautiful those characters are. Such with their brittle bones and distinct personalities. And one of them's even trying to get the thing off his belly. Uh, who cares? This whole thing's going down the drain. For what? Why am I being put up to these authorities? Do you guys even want to listen? Uh, yeah, we're just catching on Scoplo to see if you're doing anything perfect. Well, I don't mind you doing anything wrong. It's just, uh, for the fact that the Queen's forcing us to do all the work ourselves doesn't mean that us monsters can actually get the Brittle Bones ourselves. This can't be happening because I want to be the one to get some action done, but instead, some characters usually waste off my time, like we were in the battles outside, Cellor. Don't you remember? Yeah, but we did manage to fight them out a few times, along with Izaraf in the second episode. You've been binge-watching too much, haven't you? Well... Yeah, on the internet lately. God, you're so disappointing. So, Scoplo, you're gonna do anything about this? Well, technically, yeah. I am gonna do something about this. But first, I'm gonna take some exotic measures. Like what? Sneak up like they don't think you're there? Oh, make... Oh, I have an idea. Close your eyes and make you invisible. I'm not sure if he's gonna take any of those options. I think he's gonna go full force. Well, Alright. Let's see how this goes. Alright, got my robot arm. That's perfect. And all I'll do is get my gun, and I think I'm ready to go in. Wait a minute. Did I just see something pass by? Ugh, I think I know who it is. Scoplo? Yes, Blanco? Why do you look in that innocent position like that? Are you supposed to threaten me or make peace? Make up your mind, because I'm certain to shoot you. Well, I just want to, um, say a few things before you try and hurt me. Like what? Plan with a bet on me cliche? Or teach you to a battle cliche? Well, not precisely, but, uh, there is something I need to talk to you about. Let me guess about my brittle bone. How did you know that? I was, I was originally going to say your arm to not make you angry or tick you off. Look, I don't care if the queen needs me for something. Because I don't care. I want my arm the way it is, okay? No new upgrade, no high wire to kill people, just Blanco, normal Blanco, okay? 
Alright, alright, well, uh, if you don't mind, I'm just gonna go, uh... Yeah, just going to, um, move myself down here and pretend that I'm not here and just, uh, admire my own life as a scorpion. Yeah, whatever, Scoplo. Where are you going? I'm going where whatever I'm going, dude! <sighs> I'm gonna go follow him. Make sure he doesn't get in trouble. But you have to go around the other end. No way, you have to go symmetrical to open it. Oh, um, uh, Blanco, where are you going? I have to finish what I started. Finish what I started? What are you talking about? I don't know, something about a scorpion or something. How do you know that's what I was going to say? No, I think he's pretty much of Scoplo. He's the one he's going to pay for. What, well, pay for? I mean, as if he's going to pay that Scoplo did this to him. Okay, so I'm confused. Is Scoplo the one that ripped off Blanco's hand, or was it the queen? I think it was the queen. Scoplo was the one who pin pinned him down. Oh yeah, that's why he considers him as a traitor. That's it, I'm going in. Wait! Let Blanco do this himself. Okay, but I don't want my brother to get hurt. He won't. He already has that battle scar. Wait, I didn't know masks have scars. Well, whatever it is, I'm going for it. No, wait. What? I think that I should go myself. Wait, not me, but I'm comic relief. I don't think I need comic relief for this battle, Copto. Even though you're still funny, I'm leaving you to this. Why? A character like me deserves a dramatic feel. Gotta grab this, and we're going. It's gonna be harder than I thought. Alright, go, Gresh. Just, uh, don't get hurt. I won't get hurt. It's my momentum for being a plant. Whatever you say. Okay. Got fully secured, and I'm ready to take it on. Take on what? I don't know, just take on whatever Blanco's taking on. I thought you said it was a scorpion. And I thought you said, why are you in that position? Because I was intended to do that. Wait, no, no, no! Don't goof off on my track. Yeah, you go, Gresh! Yeah, whatever, I'm sure she'll do good. Thanks. Alright, well, we better stay here in case if anyone needs backup. Wait, no cell phones required? No cell phones required. Okay. Alright. I'm here. So what do you need me for, Scoplo? Any sense of nonsensical issue? Well, not precisely, but there's actually one thing that I do need from you. The Queen says she requires brittle bones, which I think that she mentioned before. But, she wants your specific brittle bone to be exact. Why? Is it because of my design of how I was poorly designed by the company itself? For crying out loud, I had these masks a long time ago. Well, consider yourself warning because I already got some of the strength that you need. What are you talking about, Scoplo? You don't know much about this bionicle stuff. Oh, but in fact I do. I have the tail of a scorpion and I can easily shoot with venom. Look, you're gonna pay for what you did to my arm. Because the queen was the one who took my arm. And you were the one who pinned me down with your venom. And I plan to do the same thing. Get over here! Ooh, Mortal Kombat reference. Because I'm already in for it. Hey, what was that for? That's my precious tail. Is that the best you can try and do? Well, trampling me was first check. How about this be exact? Ugh. Ugh. Okay, I was wrong. That's the best you can do. But is that more you can do besides just throwing me around like a rag doll? Well, consider this a fact, dude. We are technically still toys, but it doesn't matter. Because I'm ready to pass by ripping off your arm. Wait, no, stop it! Ah! <laughs> No, that's my good arm! Well, technically, that was my healing arm, but that was a replacement arm, so who cares? Whoosh. Oh, crap. Maybe I didn't think this out as good as I thought it was. Well, maybe you shouldn't think twice before fighting a scorpion. They have lethal armor on the plates of their backs. That doesn't make sense. Shut up! Now I'm done with you. The queen will be severely proud of, proud of me because I will have the peace that I need. My arm? You wouldn't dare! Oh, I would dare want to bet again. I would not. Well then, time to d -d -d die. <laughs> nope. You're time to die. What? Nani? Looks like scorpions will be treated with a valuable lesson of trying to kill your friends. Or mostly in love, I'm trying to camouflage because there's no actually green in here. Boring! Hero comes out of nowhere in liquid time cliche. I've seen it before. Wait. You actually here to save me, Gresh? 
all this time I thought I could do it by myself, but Scoplo just proved so stronger. It's because I've been using some powerful potion, dummy. Wait, powerful potion? What are you talking about? No time for explanation. It's time to finish what you started. Oh, crap. Here we go again. <laughs> so you think death is funny, huh? Well, let's see how you like it, Scoplo, when you're finishing up eating in the dirt. Well, don't mind me. Scorpions like the dirt. <laughs> okay, now with a precise weapon shining in my face. It's all over, Scoplo. You tricked me into this. Now you shall face the power of the consequences. Now that I have the chance to pierce through that mask of yours. I'm not even wearing a mask. These are dentures and a recolor of the orange guy. No, wait. I mean, per green guy. I'm having a identity crisis over here. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't blow your scorpion head to bits. Okay, listen, listen. The queen wants brittle bones. Yes, I know. I keep repeating myself. But she wants a specific one. So especially Gresh's. She has a brittle bone. Well, I see that. She already showed me before you showed up and challenged me to this death battle. So that's not going to work enough for you. Because you're going to die. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, there is a reason. If you let me go, just promise. Her brittle bone is going to brittle more and more by the day. What are you talking about? You're making no skins, Scoplo. <laughs> skins. But anyway, it's time to face the consequences, Scoplo. Oh, you're in for it now, because my, my, my tail could easily try and, and pierce through your venom shield. And that's not enough for you, Scoplo. It's time to face consequences. I know you keep saying that. Okay, okay, you win. You win. Just let me go. Fine, run over to you. Fine, you win. Run to your queen or whatever, because I don't want to leave her a message. And it'll get my arm back. Phew! That was a close one. Ouch. Ah, <sighs> thanks, Gresh. I don't know what I'd do without you, otherwise I'd be destroyed by now. It doesn't matter. Us plant guardians work perfectly as for Glatorian, but mostly enough for our Kanohi masks. Well, I see you wearing a helmet, but it doesn't even matter. Okay, okay, you got me here. Let me scurry away to my queen, and I'll never harm you guys again. Especially Blanco, I'll never harm you again. That's good, Scoplo. Now run along. Or else. Or else what? You'll try and kill me? That doesn't seem to matter, because guess what? I'm the smarter guy. You're the smart one? Heck, and I thought that the queen's army is pretty much stupid numbskulls of creatures. Collabed into one? Well, actually, yes. But, there's another catch. I'm the smart scorpion here, and because of this, my tail can read its own thoughts. What do you mean? i never seen your tail tell the future. It's a freaking scorpion tail. How much is there to know? Well, I know this. What I know is that more characters will be joining the show by the end of this year, but mostly enough, the Bionicle alternate universe will expand once again, divining its new lore, story, and particle bits on what story they want to pick, and some stuff that they're better left without of. So consider yourself a warning, Blanco, because there's a lot more where we came from. Let me guess. CCBS? Exactly. Alright, get me out of here, boys! <laughs> He's a bit of a runaway guy. I know, I know. So you're welcome, Blanco. Yeah, anytime. Now let's get out of here. Alright. Again, Gresh, I want to thank you for all your help. No problem, but it was usually you who did all the work because you're strong. Well, thanks. I must appreciate that Gresh is putting up lots of influence in you, Blanco. And you seem to be bonding with her pretty much. And I thought that Gresh was going to be, be a little bit of embarrassment to our team. But sooner or later, she's actually a great girl, actually. Being a Gre Gresh Matoran and all, and mostly a Glatorian of, of the plant species. Yep, she's throwing it like a plant, and also for Kanohi masks. Yeah, but I gotta say, this new take in the story is pretty much great. I'd love to see these two characters develop. Well, brother, if you want it to be. Yeah, but I think Gresh and Copto are the two comic relief characters. So I appreciate that. It's pretty basic. Hey guys, I think this tub of slime actually likes me. It's actually chirping my name. Okay, how is that even possible? I don't know, I mean, but hey, could you imagine that inside the slime can contain a secret character inside? Now what a story that'll be, huh? Yeah, I'm sure of it. Wait until the next episode. God, I can't wait to see more new heroes pop up. Or new villains to be exact. Well, I guess we're gonna have to wait until now. 
Yeah, I'm sure Scoplo learned his lesson. But mostly enough, that queen's going to pay. Yep, she'll pay all right. But us, Toa, are ready. Yeah, we're not just action figures for boys. Mostly for girls, but they're less female characters in Bionicle. Don't worry, we'll be ready for everyone. As long as you can. Yeah, we'll never rest until all the bad guys are taken down. Hooray for injustice! So, anyone up for Dark Souls 4? Not a chance. Darn it! I know I've been the one who has been deceiving these missions, but I seem like the most smartest villain to be precise. So, in any occasion, I would have my own specific villain death, but that wouldn't be the case. I mean, you are the most interesting villain to be precise for your, her army. Yeah, I mean, she definitely has so much character arc. Well, to be consistent, Seller, I'm actually pretty impressed with you. You actually want the story to proceed in a more specific way. Yeah, but all these comic relief dudes, they gotta go. So what's your specific plan on taking over the Toa race, Scoplo? Well, your majesty, I think it's been quite secure that I think I know who the one is. Gresh, to be exact. Here's what I want you to do, Scoplo. The next time you see her, I want you and Selor to grab her. Bring her to me. I'm gonna get my brittle bones, even if I have to kill her. But mostly enough, the war is not over yet. There's a lot more darkness to be of show. As much as Makuda would have wanted it. Makuda? Why, yes, Makuda himself. Oh, well, that's a change of place. So what's our plan? I think your plan is basic. The four of you at once. Four of us at once? I don't know about that. Don't worry, Scoplo. When the new characters show up, you'll be desperate to know. Wait, how do you know about these new characters? You'll see. You'll all see. Okay, if you insist. Your Majesty.